Welcome back to Two Bottoms on Top, the podcast where we bees in the trap, be bees in the trap, we bees in the trap, be bees in the trap. Today is a very special episode, and for one reason in particular, we have a very special guest who will attempt to fill in the void left behind by Mimi. Okay. Mimi is still with us, it's just I was sick this week and so we could not be in her presence. This special individual is loved for her paleontological skill sets, and at times ignored due to her overacting in TikToks. It is the one, the only, my mother. How are you doing today, mother? Good, Jake. How are you? I'm good. I'm quite all right. Well, today we have a very packed agenda, so let's just dive in. <clears throat> Can I ask you a question? Sure. It's not like we have a whole script prepared, but go I ahead. I was just curious if you were growing a goatee or not. Automatically coming after my physical features. You look gorgeous. You're off to a great start. Oh, God. You're known locally and tolerated nationally as someone who doesn't particularly enjoy Bravo television shows, specifically The Real Housewives. What is it about your inner psyche that is triggered by The Real Housewives franchises? Is it an internalized misogyny, or do you see qualities of yourself in the women that you don't particularly like in yourself? This is so deep. Wait, am I really supposed well, to like, unpack I'm, this? I'm known often to get deep. Oh, God, Jake. Okay, so is there misogynistic viewpoints that I have that relate back to the Real Housewives? Precisely. And you think that's why I don't watch the show? Or are could there it, quality? Wait, please don't you touch ask me. me a please question. don't touch me. It hurts. Could it? Could it just be that I have better things to do than watch the Real Housewives? Like, could mm. that? Could it be that simple? Well, don't women's stories matter? I think women's stories matter. They just matter. Don't and so you're words. saying that say you have better things to do than enjoy women's stories. No, I did not say that. Yes, you just No, did. I didn't. I said, could there be better things that I could do with my time than watch The Real House? Of course. You could I know be the solving vast majority of people would not agree with that. No. But for me... In don't, assume, don't assume my audience's opinions. No, okay, fair. But I do have better things to do. With then my listen time, to women then watch, speak for themselves and not, make their own career. I and, love Bethany. Of course you do. And I like. Of course you do. I do. Yeah. I think Bethany is a very successful entrepreneur. I take away some of the bullshit. Her professional trajectory is awe-inspiring. Okay, she's no longer on the show though, so I'm talking about the current Real Housewives. Um, and you just have a disdain for them. No, there's no disdain. What's the one that? Oh, the one. No, what's the, the one? The one, 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 the one, one, one. <laughs> the two, one, two, the one, two, two. The two, one, three, the three, two, one. The Jake, one, two, one, the three, one, two. Lights better on Saturn. Let's break this pattern. I can come back at you. <laughs> For me, life's better shocked? on Uranus. Okay? <laughs> because mine is a mess. Well, let's talk about that. Can we no, let's, in? let's not. No, no let's, see, I knew this was going to happen. I knew you were going to try and act as a little mole rat and finagle your way out of all of these questions. But today I am embodying Z-Way and you're going to answer for your sins. Okay? That's my sins for not so watching the So what Housewives? don't you like about Bravo? Besides in your humble opinion, you have better things to do. What is it that triggers you? I want to get to the bottom there's of no, it. Do you know that there's something called an antecedent, a trigger or a, I forget the third one. I really got to know it too reasons that see this is what manifest. she does she makes things up she <laughs> makes don't touch me oh, hurts she makes <laughs> things up so that you forget what the question is the question is very simple what is it that triggers you about there's the real nothing housewives? that triggers me so then maybe i need to watch a couple episodes with you you have right and it hasn't stuck so what because triggers I, because you? every time we watch it mm -hmm. if i interject something or i say something i'm crucified oh. by you and there comes the gaslighting. <laughs> and there comes the gaslighting. I ask a question, and suddenly it's my fault. No, it's I'm my not fault. saying it's you your fault. You literally just I said it's my love, fault. Jake, I would love to screaming? share. You see how you're screaming? No, you're I would screaming. love to share in the excitement of the show and share my opinions and my thoughts. But when I do, you are so wrapped up in the whole entire series. Comes back onto me. No, that you can't look at a different perspective. I always mine. look at different perspectives. That's completely falsified information. And so if I had leisurely time like you do, <gasps> I would watch it more often. But I don't have the time right now. I'm in school and I'm working. Mm. And why are you doing both of those things at the same time? Because you were slacking when you were young. You were on boats in Brazil. With older men. Are you gaslighting now? drugs out of your belly. Oh, yeah. Wait. 
kind of still attached to this information. I have never done. I, I never said you did. did. I, I never, never said you did. Drugs. I never said that you did. I said well, that, then say that. I never said that she did drugs. I said that older other men did them off of her belly button. That's what I said. Mm. You should be proud of your mom that she was that hot when she was younger that, yeah, that men would want to. I am proud. proud. I am proud. Why do you think I'm putting this on the podcast? Because I want the people to know the kind of woman that raised me. Oh, God. One that doesn't like real housewives and loves having a good time in Sao Paulo. Guarija. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Off the coast. So we're, we're circling back. We're not evading the question. What? So, so far, the two things that you've said to me. One is you don't have the time. Two, it's my fault for interrupting you or having a different perspective. I didn't say it's your fault. What? I triggers said. you use I statements use I statements what triggers you about the real housewives that makes you uncomfortable and I'm not going to stop until I get tears damn that's going to be a long fucking podcast Jake you see how she curses <laughs> I'm not. no tears will be shed from these eyes good realize 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 <laughs> okay, so. okay so I feel Mm -hmm. Like, it would probably be a very addictive show mm -hmm. if I had the time to put into watching So, at the end the of the day, series. you're not watching it out of fear. No, there's no fear. You just said you, you feel like it would be an addictive show, and you... I'm assuming you don't want to get addicted to something. I don't have an addictive personality, so that would not happen. However... I feel that if I were going to watch some episodes of it, I would probably like want to be on vacation or where I had like a period of I'm time. I'm still not getting the answer that I'm looking for, which is what triggers you within the show that you don't devote time to? Because you devote time to many other things in your like life. Like what? Oh, working out. Yoga. School. school work, people. My fighting, son, My kids. You're arguing. <sighs> gaslighting. It's what you're doing to your mother right now. That's going to annoy our audio and my listeners. Can we please Can you answer be the nice? question? I am being nice. I'm just asking you respectfully as your son, what triggers you within the series? I'm asking you respectfully as your mother to respect me. There's our third. That's our third trigger. So first we've gone to avoidance. Then we went to gaslighting. And now we've gone to the need for respect. All and you why mothers do, out there. Why do I need to respect? All your mothers out there. Because she is there. my mother. Was I asked to be brought into this world? No. Oh, here but we did go. she want someone to be by her side when she's dying? Yes. Okay? All the children out there understand. <laughs> All the children out there understand. <laughs> they know. They know. We didn't You're ask sick. for this. We didn't ask for this. You are sick. You brought us in you here out of selfishness. Sick. You were like, let's what shit on the planet. I, let's pollute, let's pollute, let's pollute. Again. And then let's bring you know in what? some of the women to take thing care to of say. us. What? Life is better on Saturn. Exactly. Okay. You can't use the same point twice. Okay. It doesn't hit as hard the second time. The first time, I will say, it, it gooped and gagged me a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Second I time, not so much. Okay. You see how she gets me? She tries to get me. What triggers you about the Real Housewives? Just answer and then we can move on. What triggers you about me touching you? Do you want me to say that? Yeah. Yes. Well, what? when I was younger. Yeah. Cough, <laughs> <laughs> cough. You have to cough into your elbow. Don't cough out loud. The germs. My out. elbow is very immunodeficient. Okay. <laughs> No, don't tell me what my elbow is or Cough is not. Into your elbow. By the way, I do. This is so cute. Don't you touch me. Where did you get this? Stop again? touching me. Alfred, what? <laughs> Alfred Eden. What triggers you about the Real Housewives? This is the final last time, or else you won't be allowed back on the pod. What? And trauma dolls will get canceled before it even <laughs> occurs. Okay. So uh, let's see. What triggers me? I wouldn't say that it's a trigger. I would say. Their lives are interesting. No, use the words that first pop into your no, head. No, I think their lives PC. are interesting. You're trying to be more PC. I know you. No. Just say how you truly feel. <laughs> their lives are interesting. They love the needle. The, the needle? Botox. 
Oh, okay. Okay, the filler, like they're not aging naturally, like a natural 55 year old woman. Well, you're would assuming age. about a lot of them, but sure. Okay, keep well, going. tell me. No, keep going. Educate okay. me then. Lisa Barlow is quite natural. She is? Okay, Lisa Barlow, I'm very sorry. I don't even know who you are, but I apologize deeply. Keep going. Um, and so I, if that doesn't resonate with me. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, if I. If I so let me let me just try and put it in my own words. Yeah. You seeing women live their truth and you know I didn't accentuate say that. their beauty how they want to. I didn't say makes that. you upset. I didn't say that it made me upset. You Don't get, guess you like, get you upset. Just, I, this, you know, by this seeing is other me women feel you beautiful. You watch The Bachelorette. Do you get yeah, upset by seeing other women feel no, beautiful? No, I love supporting other women, and you mm. know I then do. Name a woman. Name a woman. A woman. Name a woman. Lisa Renner. Wait. And why would you name Lisa Renna? Because the biggest the real bully housewife. in Hollywood. She is. The biggest bully wow. in. Wow. It says funny. a lot about you. I don't know. You said name a woman. I said I name a woman. Out of all maybe 4 billion women in the world, you named the biggest bully in Hollywood. What do you think that says about you? I'm a horrible, horrible mother, a horrible representation of woman, women. Say into I'm, the camera. <laughs> Say into the camera. You're insane. <laughs> Say it into the camera. You're to a functional medicine doctor or an integrative doctor. I really do. I really think Tell me about that, it. I think that you need to get your gut biome checked. Mm -hmm. I think that you need to check your gluten intolerance. Mm -hmm. Do you get new pants too? They're not mine. No. I think you need to um, like discover I'm, I'm, whether I'm, or not wait, you- Wait, 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 wait. I need to erase something. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Keep going. You know, when Jake was a child, I will oh, say that all of the books that he read that were like this thick should have been indicative of something at that period of time. And what do you think it was indicative that of? That now that your you know, brain what I think is it was, so far. You would say right. indicative. She would say indicative a lot to me. And I think that's actually what turned me <laughs> gay. In dick. In dick. I just heard that It all so goes back to sex. Doesn't it all? No! Yes, it does. I'm talking about how smart you are. Yeah, and it goes back to sex. How does that go back to sex? Well, when a man loves a woman... Jesus Christ, here we go. No, just keep going. No, no, go ahead. No, no, you, you finish don't. your soliloquy, Jake, please. No, you go. Oh, no, please. No, you! No, please! Well, how about it? I was, let's just say, unloved most of my life. So, ow! Look at you! How dare you say you were unloved? Oh, my God. Look at this. Who? Look at um, this. You are so con unconditionally un. There's an unfettered unconditional let me love for you. You didn't let me finish. Who unloved you? You didn't let me finish. Then finish. You <laughs> need a haircut. Once again, a woman not letting a man finish. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I wasn't loved sexually as a child. I can't help you with that, Jake. And so, what do you mean you weren't loved sexually? How not, old? Under the age of 18, I was, I was just asexual, I was, I was, I was so lost, and so I was focused on my studies instead. Yes, you are, and that is part of the reason why at this juncture of your life, within your life, mm -hmm. you are just say it, trying to, no, well, I don't know about that, I don't follow your sexual encounters, but what I do know is that there's this, I think you're like a walking contradiction, because you are so smart so intelligent yet you're so creative at the same time you're trying to find a proper outlet to get those mixed emotions out mm. hence this but you are so far ahead of people when you're having a conversation oh with God. them no like this right now like you thought this out of how you were going to wow. quote unquote catch me wow. about the real housewives mm -hmm. knowing i don't watch it no and then switch going. it around as if i was triggered by it but the reality is i just don't watch the show and the reality is is that i'm not so far ahead as she always says the reality is that she is actually so far ahead and that she knew that i was going to try and catch her about the real housewives and that she would allow herself to quote unquote be caught. 
so that then she could have this moment this where she crazy. gets to make you herself see? the victim you see what I'm saying? and me he, the villain. He is like 10 steps ahead at all times. So in his mind, he has already thought out the next question, the next statement ahead of what I'm going to say. And I think I'm 10 steps ahead of him. So we keep going in this circular motion about who can outdo whom, right? I just think that we need a lot of therapy. Where should we go? And that's why today's sponsor is BetterHelp. <laughs> BetterHelp is... No, I'm joking. <laughs> so that would have been a layup. Yeah. Listen, I think BetterHelp is fantastic. Okay, well, we're not giving any free promo, so oh, we don't okay. think it's that fantastic until they tell us it's that fantastic. Oh, Jake. Mental health should be free to everyone. Mental health is free to everyone. It's mental health care yeah, that should be free. Yeah, mental state, 10 steps ahead. Well... It's just health is an intrinsic part of who you are. It's not that it costs money or not. Yeah, fact. You're right. No, I don't know about that. I never said that. No. You see how she just automatically likes to become the victim. A victim. I do not have a victim mentality. Don't you go there. Don't you go there. You want to sit? sit? I don't want any. No. I think I think this has been a very successful episode. Wow. I think that trauma dolls might get greenlit. I'll really? talk to my people. Okay, what do you guys think about trauma? Do you guys know the story behind, tra behind trauma dolls? Trauma dolls. Do they know? If they, they follow they my TikTok, maybe. One time, Jake and I were in the car and he was so sick. I said, Jake, I'll get, I should have gotten you trauma doll. And he was like, what You're you giving say? me trauma, trauma doll. doll. But the reality is, I didn't mean to say trauma doll. Trauma doll. I meant to say treta. I got my cheese. And my drugs mixed up and it turned into as she drugs. always does she gets her tea and she gets her drugs mixed up and that's me gooby gubby signing off with mother for another successful episode of two bottoms on top if you like this podcast like it and if you don't like this podcast comment what you didn't like if the issue starts with the letter m and starts with and le sorry i messed up there you did I repeat did. yourself if the issue starts with the letter M, ends with the letter R, and rhymes with bother. Mother? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Comment that below. Do I Subscribe get to for it? more. No, you're not allowed to touch me. Please don't touch me. Subscribe. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say? Kisses.